deck here and there's a lot that's been done and a lot that needs to get done. First, let's recap. Put tile in the bathroom floor, still need to do painting and trim. Finish the hallway floor, need to paint and putty the trim, plus the walls. Started the kitchen cabinets, have a huge mess. Must finish. Must start and complete master bathroom, including new tile and paint. Backyard in total disarray, must fix. Fence needs painting, fence needs finishing. Front yard needs landscaping. Need to finish rainwater catchment system. Need to get starts started. Plus I have a real job, a real family, a real need to sleep, a real need to eat, and shooting videos and editing them. I've got much to do. Now they say the only way to eat an elephant is by one bite at a time. So today, the first bite is going to be, yeah, let's get to it. First thing I got to do is take the old pipe out of there which is not glued or anything like that, so it's just gonna be screwing it out. And then cut the new pipe and put it all back together. Now I need to measure the pipe. 75 inches. All right, I've cleaned all the fittings. Now it's time to glue them together. Somebody's horn alarm's gone off and they won't turn it off. That white car. I guess I'll go eat lunch. Hopefully they'll shut it off. Ah. It went off. I don't need to eat lunch. <laughs> All right, you'll notice I turned the faucet out this direction a little bit so that when I put a hose on there, it's not going to go straight down and have to kink out. Um, I'm going to really count on gravity and pressure from the tanks to push that water through because it's going to have the hose is going to have to actually come back up and then uh, run down into uh, whatever I'm putting it into at the time. All right, well that's done for now. Uh, I am going to put supports underneath that long pipe, the faucet pipe that's coming out from under there, but. Uh, after that, it should be ready to go. All right, some time has passed. The glue's dried. I've had lunch. It's time to finish up. I want to get some sort of support underneath the end here where the faucet is at. So we're going to do that right now. Let's get to it. All right, that's going to be good for temporary for uh, the one season. Um, like I said, my plan is to be out of this house by next season, and most of this is going to go with me. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not taking this, but the rest of it will go, unless the new buyers want to keep it. <sighs> All right, well, let's give it a test now. All right, each barrel has its own ball valve underneath, so I can separate or isolate each one if I need to. Each barrel is also turned off at the moment and there is water in each barrel. So what I'm going to do is turn one on, I'll probably start with the back one, and then turn on the faucet and see if we got any leaks or anything that we need to worry about. Here we go. Okay, I do see a leak. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but it's coming from right under here. So 
I may have to turn this back off and loosen this joint and re-thread that joint because it's coming out of here for some reason. All right. Well, let's test our little valve here. There you go, boy golly. All right, let's turn this one back off. Turn the third one on. Well, all right, other than that one little leak, which will be easy to fix, it's up and going. In fact, let me show you why this is going to be so easy to fix. Okay, so this is why this was so easy to fix. I've already fixed it, but I have extra parts, so I will show you. First of all, there's the pipe going between the two barrels, all right? But there's another pipe that goes up to the other barrel on this side. And it's connected by this coupler. And this coupler is a genius little booger because... It's just like that. See? You just put it there so you can just slide them together. And then tighten it back up. Okay? And that's all it takes. So what I did was I took that apart. And then... This is connected on this end, and it's just threaded in to the to the barrel to the uh, connections coming down from the barrel. And basically, this just wasn't tight enough. I already had putty on it, or not putty, but plumber's tape, Teflon tape on it, and it just wasn't in strong enough. So all I really had to do was take this loose, stick a uh, a wrench on it, turn it in there, and then. Tighten that back up, just like that. Simple and easy. That's why I designed that way, so I can work on them. Move them around if I need to. I can drain one, take them apart, and pull the one out of there. Simple as that. Or I can drain them all, take them all there. Just, you know, and it doesn't have to be, I can do one here or one in the middle. And you, know, you know, if you had three or four more on there, it doesn't matter which one, you could work on them. So, I thought about that for a long time. I know, so I'm slow, so, but I finally developed that idea in my head. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this here. This is Subject. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. You know, I don't think that you could call this recreation, although I do enjoy it. But how many people would be willing to make this kind of a sacrifice out in the cold or in the morning? You could be, you know, home in bed, snuggled up with Mama. Instead, I'm out here making sure that I got a place to go in case something happens. And uh, you know, how many people would make that kind of sacrifice? I know there's there are people out there that will, but the odds are there's going to be more people right, that won't, and those people are going to yes, be trying. And those are the people that will uh, 